Hey, Corporal, I heard your commander got promoted. You were there, right? Yes, soldier, I was. The Lieutenant Ivansov is no more. He was made a captain by Voronin himself, no later than yesterday. Whoa, too bad we missed out on that. I guess he really deserved it. Trust me, soldier, he did. And let me tell you exactly why. From what I've understood, the captain has always been hunting mutants. That must be his thing. We've killed quite a few of those beasts with the squad, but our last raid was something else. Since the last emission, new routes to the eastern parts have opened, and our outposts have been regularly attacked by mutants coming from these locations. So, the colonel decided to send someone to recon that area. And, of course, when it comes to the monsters, he always chooses Ivansov. So, we prepared our stuff, bags full of ammo, and headed east to the place now known as the Truck Cemetery. We had no problem getting there, and the area seemed quiet at first. But we knew there were some creatures hiding between the radioactive vehicles. Suddenly, a military chopper flew above us, but it didn't seem to be in a good shape. Seconds later, the heli crashed in the middle of the machine graveyard. The lieutenant did not hesitate. These guys need help, let's go, he said and we started to rush towards the location of the crash. Of course, we are not supposed to help the military, and they are supposed to fire at us on sight. But that's only in theory. We'll never be able to defeat the zone if we don't help out each other, right? Unfortunately, a pack of dogs was waiting for us on the way, so we had to deal with them. From the radio, we heard cries of help from the military guys. They were under attack by mutants as well, so we had to hurry. The army is never really fast at sending rescue missions, when they send a rescue mission at all. So we pushed through the mutants, basically charging at them. At some point, Sprong even had a couple of the beasts attached to him, but the guy's a real monster. He almost punched his way through like the badass he is. Damn, I wish I could have an exoskeleton like him. Anyway, we killed the dogs and started to run for the chopper, which was only a hundred meters away now. We could still hear its SOS signal on the radio. The grunts were not in good shape. Most of the crew was dead, but we managed to help out a wounded soldier. Another one was firing at a pack of monsters, and let me tell you, he was happy to see us. They had been overrun by boars and fleshes as soon as they touched to the ground. We gave him a hand, and after spending some magazines, the beasts were dead. In the end, only those two guys had survived the crash and the mutant attack, but that would be none if we did not intervene. They told us that it was a standard recon flight, but the pilot lost control of the machine. Most likely he flew too close to an anomaly. Now we had to decide what to do next. The best thing would be to bring the soldiers back to the border of the zone, but that was quite far away. Besides, we had a mission to clear out the mutants from this place. We already killed a lot, but most likely there were still many left. Lieutenant Ivansov decided to make a compromise. We'll destroy one more mutant lair and head back to the bar with the soldiers. The idea was to convince them to join duty. If they refused, they could still be escorted to an army outpost later. They did not really have a choice so they accepted to follow us. We started to hunt among the wreckages, looking for the mutants. A bit later, we found another pack of boars and fleshes. 
Let's give them hell and go home. That's what the commander said. And we did. The guys were covering me while I went in first with my shotgun. We took out many monsters, but the beast tried to fight back. One of them almost managed to flank me and knock me down. Hopefully, Dima had an eye on my back and shot the mutant before it could reach me. The boar's corpse fell less than a meter from me, and I realized my comrade saved my life. That's how we do it in duty. We watch each other's back. Maybe next time I'll be the one to save him. Such is life in the zone. So, we destroyed that mutant lair, and the military guys were really impressed. I guess they never had seen duty in action. According to plan, we started to head back to Rostock. A few other blind dogs crossed our path on the way, but hopefully we still had some ammo left after the carnage, so that was not a problem at all. And we made it to the base in one piece. Some of us had a few injuries, but nothing too serious. And most importantly, we brought the two grunts with us. And you want to know the best? They both agreed to join the ranks of duty. Loners should take example. We could always use more men. So yeah, that's how the lieutenant was promoted to captain. From what I've understood, he's officially in charge of all the important raids against mutants now.